I can however confidently tell you, out of the Naivasha retreat, to Lisema, we want to register Oka now officially. The logo, Nakila Kitu. Therefore, we have given authority for our Secretaries General, Bishakila Akohapa, to sign what we call the deed of assignment. Kutoka, because it, the name was reserved by WIPA, to now give it to Oka, so that Oka becomes a legal entity, na iwe registered na registrar of political parties. That was a very important step in terms of confidence building. Iyo report ulipokea lakini mujue final decision itakuwa ni the party leaders. We have done it before. All right, that's Kalonzo Musioka of Waipa. Now, during the break, a lot of things happened here in studio. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't tell you what they were, but I wish I could. And as we listen to Kalonzo Musioka, they are talking about uh, the deed of assignment that was to be signed um, by the partner parties, or are they not? Um, let's listen to what Senator Malala spoke about uh, some time towards the end of last week in as far as picking a candidate is concerned after that meeting of technical team of One Kenya Alliance. Mumeona kwa mkutano wa Oka, mumesikia at the technical committee ya Oka, One Kenya Alliance, inasema kwamba at 2022, ati kalonzo ndi wakwe flood bearer alafu musali ya kwe chini yaki yu inaezekana kweli sisi tunaka tuambie kwamba mtoni ndogo ndi inamawa kwa mtoni kubwa so small rivers flow into big rivers that's what you meant oh yes and I still maintain my how so you know you know we we supposed to operate from a background of history mhm and uh, politics is a game whereby it's a game of give and take. Mm -hmm. It's a game of compromises. Um, Saliam Davadi, who is my party leader, has been very kind to leaders of this country. Mm -hmm. He has sacrificed his personal ambitions for the sake of his brothers. In 2002, Saliam Davadi was the vice president of this country. He sacrificed his ambition to front President Uhuru Kenyatta as a presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. In 2007, he sacrificed his ambition for right on Rebo Raila Molo Odinga. He even was on the table of negotiation, the ne negotiations with Kofi Annan and allowed Kalonzo Msioka to be the vice president and Raila Odinga to be the prime minister. In 2017, Msaliam Davadi sacrificed his personal ambitions and decided to be the campaign manager for Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Msioka. It is now 2022. It is just humanly uh, uh, reasonable for these other partners also to return the favor to Msaliam Davadi and support him in return. And therefore, this is what we are saying. When you look at uh, the politics of Kenya, it's politics of numbers. And truth be told that the starting block of uh, any politician is the community he comes from. Mm -hmm. We are the people of Mulembe. And Sifuna, you'll have to agree with me or else Masinde Moliro will curse you, or else Badi Shikugu will not be happy with you. You will have to agree with me <laughs> that uh, where we come from, we are the most populous uh, community in this country. And therefore, we can't be always be supporting others, and yet we can never be supported. We are requesting but, our political but between friends. between Kalonzo and Mosala Madavade, who has more numbers behind him if you had to look at the historical facts? You know, you know, you know when you talk about numbers, of course, the, the Mulembe people have got more numbers than any other community in this. In this I mean, in I'm this talking about the voting patterns. The voting patterns. Look at how we voted. You know, you know, many people bring this perception that the Mulembe nation is divided. The Mulembe nation has never been divided. Let me demystify this. In 2002, the Mulembe Nation voted 70% to the NACA uh, uh, coalition. Mm -hmm. In 2007, Mulembe Nation voted 85%. They voted as a bloc. Despite the fact that Musadi Amdavadi was on the ballot in 2013, Mulembe Nation still voted as a bloc, 70% to Raila Molo Odinga. In 2017, 78% of the Mulembe Nation voted for the NASA How coalition. How about in 2013? Yeah, I'm saying in 2013 it was around 70, uh, 70 no, 65 percent. No, no, no. Musalem was a candidate. Exactly. So was um, what we are talking about is the unity of our people. That 
regardless of who is vying, when we decide to support a certain presidential candidate, we support him as a bloc. And therefore, Mulembe Nation has never been disintegrated <laughs> as a voting bloc. Do, and that's what do, we are do, saying. Do you think the number of you elected do not leaders look, is you do a not factor? Look, don't look at Musalia Mdavadi as a person. Look at the people of Mulembe Nation. The people who support you. The people who supported Raila Odinga. Don't look at Musalia Mdavadi as an individual. Look at the people who decided to disregard their own son in 2013 and voted for Raila Odinga in, uh, instead. And, and, therefore, and it therefore is, the question, it is humanly uh, Senator, reasonable. I'm asking you this question. Do you think the number of elected leaders is a factor in negotiating within one Kenya alliance? You, you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know uh, the Mulembe people are very democratic. We are very democratic in our nature. We, 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 we are people of peace. We invite all parties to come to our territories and have free campaigns and even get elected leaders. When you look at the, uh, the, the formation of Kakamega County members of parliament, you can't imagine that Kakamega County was a NASA stronghold, but Jubilee has more MPs than ODM. The, the question I'm asking, so, so, so what we are saying just is hold on, one Kenya Alliance. Um, Wiper Party has 22 members of the National Assembly. Yes. Fort Kenya has 13. Yes. ANC has 14. Some of them, of course, have left the likes of Ayub Savula. But the, I, is this a factor when you're negotiating to decide on who has more numbers amongst the principals? We, this is not voting in parliament. We are talking about numbers of voters, not members of parliament. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the contribution of the Mulembe Nation in the NASA bucket, the Mulembe people had more people, contributed more than the, 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 the people from the Lower Eastern. Mm -hmm. And therefore, those are the numbers we should be talking about. So is ANC still in One Kenya Alliance or not? We are in One Kenya Alliance, but we are saying that we are looking for friends, more friends who will make the dream of One Kenya Alliance come to a reality. We are not in One Kenya Alliance so that we can be, we can be kept there as a holding group. So room. what is your preferred? We are in One Kenya Alliance so that mm -hmm. we can form government and it's therefore encamp it upon ourselves to ensure that we look for friends beyond One Kenya Alliance. If it means us looking for friends like Sifuna and if Sifuna will make a combination with us to form government, I can assure you, I will go for Sifuna. So, so since, you have, <laughs> since you have ANC, Fort Kenya, Waipa, and Kano, what is your preferred presidential ticket? My preferred presidential ticket, and I'm, the most reasonable one, is uh, that we have uh, uh, a Musalia presidency, mm -hmm. and uh, deputized, of course, by Kalonzo Msioka. To me, that is my personal view. Uh, if we have such a ticket, I can assure you, numbers don't lie. We will overtake these uh, uh, Azimio guys because they will now lack numbers. If you take the Kamba community away from Raila Odinga and take the Mulembe community away from Raila Odinga, he re basically remains with his community in uh, Luo Nyanza and uh, a few pockets in the country. He will be politically... Uh, uh, but does that assure you a win? It, you, you, know, you know, at the moment, is you build with what you have. The campaigns have not started. You start with your numbers and then do the campaign. Because I hear you, you're saying that you take away those numbers away from Raila. So what is the strategy here? The strategy is you first count your numbers and then campaign. We will campaign across this country. We will go to Central Province. We will go to Masai Land. With Law Eastern, your words, and Mulembe Nation, does that win you, the presidency? Numbers don't learn. <laughs> we, ha we must begin from somewhere. And that's what I'm saying. You know, if, 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 if uh, Sifuna wants to How does that disregard with our numbers, uh, why are they so uncomfortable with the moves Musali Amdabadi is making? So, okay, so, we'll so get you know, to the moves, but first... Uh, no, you know, let, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I, I, one day there's, uh, Malala was speaking and was talking about uh, Lot's wife. These guys in Oka are the personification of Lot's wife. Because they left our house and they keep looking at what we are doing. Malala, I can assure you, nobody is bothered with the so-called moves. I can tell you without blinking mm -hmm. that barring a cataclysmic act of God, like the earthquake that he has threatened on the 20th, Musali is not going to be president in 2022. Uh, it is good that you acknowledge certain things, but then you go and contradict yourself. Because this same argument, Sam, we tried to sell to our brothers in NASA and they you know, bolted out and accused us of all sorts of things. Now they are using these same arguments against each other in Oka. Because they are saying, Mutondogo, Dinamwaga kwa Mutokubwa.
Mm. And you have tried to ask him, how do you ascertain mutondogo ndiyo gani na mutokubwa ndiyo gani? Then he says, oh, the lawyer numbers. Then he himself acknowledges that in fact 70%, almost even more, of lawyers are behind Raila Odinga. And it is not because any lawyer told us to support Raila Odinga. Our support for Raila Odinga is organic. In this studio, there are three lawyers. And two of them support Raila Odinga. It's Out of not convenience. A Out no, of no, convenience. it has nothing to do with convenience. <laughs> that is already two thirds. You yourself have told us <laughs> in 2013, when this so-called lawyer block had a choice of electing Musalia, they went for Raila Odinga instead. And you've, taken, is, you've taken us for no, granted, no, and me, that's why you're just, saying you must return the favor. Speak. Senator, because allow him to You finish. spoke in silence. Yeah. You spoke in silence. We, as lawyers, are a very proud people, Malala. Me, I'm a pure lawyer. You know, there are doubts as to your purity. But I'm saying, I can show you Does where that my... even mean? No, no it's a, it, there's a story in the political realm. I can show you where my grandfather's grave is in Kitinda, in Bungoma. What I am telling you is that pure lawyers like myself, we follow strength, we follow conviction, we follow leadership. We are not going to follow you just because we were born with you. We are born with even thieves and people who have, have no moral character. You don't follow them because you are born with them. There is no formula, uh, Sam, in one Kenya alliance that puts Musalia Mudavadi above Kalonzo Musioka. You can use any formula. You can even go and throw dice with those uh, Wagangas who operate in Amalemba. They will still show you that Kalonzo Musioka is a stronger person in terms of numbers than Musalia Mudavadi. What is ANC now without uh, our <coughs> friend from Lugari? Even the guy you almost kill us over uh, in Nabulindo, in, in, in uh, Matungu, uh, my brother, he's now in one, uh, he has left one Kenya lands, Savula has left one Kenya lands, he was deputy party leader. If you look at the hemorrhage that is happening within ANC and Fort Kenya in Western Kenya, because there is a realization, Sam, that these guys are going nowhere. We told them, and you see, the pecking order that was in NASA has not changed, because that pecking order was based on something scientific. I can tell you today, even if you combine the votes of the four lawyer principles in Oka, you know, there are four lawyer principles, including Marende, who joined recently. Mm -hmm. They don't get to half of the support that <coughs> Kalonzo Musioka has. At least Kalonzo has demonstrated, and this is something that you can show, that he has a number of people behind him, that he has his base. Uh, you know, it is in doubt as to whether it is as strong as it was, but you cannot tell me that there is a formula that puts Musalia Mudavadi above Kalonzo. So you don't talk about Luya numbers. I am a Luya and I'm telling you my support is for Raila Odinga. My sister there is uh, a Raila Odinga diehard. She's a Luya. Which Luyas are you talking about? Maybe you should allow her to speak for herself, but um, Honorable Elachi, as you listen to this, and I know there's still time for politicians and political parties to speak to each other, but then the confusion, let me call it so, within one Kenya lands, I mean, w where does it take the country to? Because Kalonzo Musiokade is saying that, um, yes, they had registered one Kenya alliance, but now they, they are signing a deed of assignment so that now it can be embraced by everyone. Then what? Well, first, let me start this way. And I want to, to salute this senator. Mm -hmm. Because I think he's the one who killed them. In one day, in one day he finished them. But because he's a politician, <laughs> and he looked at it and he realized, you see, when you're a politician, first you look at your interests. Let me be very honest. And I want to say, Senator Malala, one time we sat down with him, I won't say where, and the words he said, on 31st of December, I saluted him. Because he kept his word. And therefore, whether it was bad or good, he <laughs> kept his word. <laughs> he said, you see, you people, you have pushed us so much on the wall. You pushed us, and we're going to leave you. And I thought he was joking. And he said, and if the worst to the worst, we just go to Uda. And so on 31st, I said, I salute that young man. He has kept his word, <laughs> he has done it. <laughs> and he went to Uda. I did not By the Uda. time no. I saw him with the deputy you know, president, no, no. I said, hey. you, know, you know, you know, you know. That he no, 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 Senator. You, wait, let me Senator finish. Love, love he remained finish. standing as the politician because he kept his word. But then now the problem will be the leader, the leader who was supposed to be with him would have stand also. But today, you, he went. He disappeared. He disappeared. This thing of now telling me on 23rd you will have this. Let me tell you people, this is not how we play politics. And that is why you find people now, everyone was looking at who is where and where can I find a pillar to move on and with the ideology that I believe in. 
And so if you want to tell me now, now, I think the guy who is standing the farm in, in Western now on his ideology is Senator Malala. My ANC leader, I'll be very honest this morning, <coughs> you need pillars. Even if you tell him what, Senator, don't lie to the leader. When you find your leader is naked, don't lie to him. Because if you don't have pillars, how are you moving? Are you going to be alone? Moving. What moving, those pillars mean? Pillars mean you need Senator Malala, you need Savula, you need another, you need another Kenyan somewhere, just the way the Prime Minister is doing. That is why he has pillars. That is why you'll find governors going. Those okay. are your pillars because so, 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 they will move with you. All right. They will make the campaign more easier for you. You cannot tell me that you are now coming to stand for presidency. And you, by the time you're starting, you're starting alone. Alone. How? All right, Senator Boyle, I hear you. But Senator, you said that um, they are uncomfortable with the moves that uh, Musala Mudavadi is making. Oh. But, but <laughs> can I just ask the question? We, we really don't care. <laughs> I mean, mm. but let me just ask this. Eh? Nobody's bothered. So, if Musala Mudavadi ends up working with William Ruto, in what capacity? Because William Ruto cannot be deputy president again. Uh, first and your party leader wants to be president. Uh, for first of all, uh, I want to disagree with my sister here mm -hmm. when she said that uh, I joined UDA mm -hmm. and uh, I still insist that my, my two colleagues here are suffering from selective amnesia. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't when, say you joined. When, he told me when, when, with his mouth, God, God uh, forbid. When, 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 um, with his mouth. He told you when, what? Just a moment. As when, exactly I said. When, when, I didn't lie. When our yes. brothers in uh, ODM attended the WIPA rally, the WIPA NDC, mm -hmm. They did not say that they have joined WIPA. When our big brother Gideon Moy attended the Azimio uh, rally in uh, Kasarani, it was perceived that Gideon Moy has joined ODM. So when the deputy president attends a football match in Kakamega, it is perceived Malala has joined UDA. That's what I'm calling selective amnesia. But and there is, and one thing, one thing uh, these uh, uh, fellas uh, uh, in ODM have successfully done in this country, mm -hmm. they have criminalized association with the deputy president. No. But they have done that to their convenience. I remember when the president came to the bar burial of um, the, 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 the mother to uh, 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 our party leader, he tried to insinuate, or his uh, body language insinuated that he might support Amsalia presidency. Sifuna went on ranting and saying, we can even work with, uh, with, 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 with William Ruto. We can even have an association with the UDA. And, and, no. and, 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 and to that, that to them, if they work with the, our, 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 our enemies, them it is okay. But if we work with their enemies, it is a problem to them. So I remember so, so, so ahead of 2017, no, just a moment, Please answer ahead of 2017, mm -hmm. we were in the same political vehicle, calling those other guys' names, oh, Dereva Mulevi, oh, Conductor Mwizi, oh, Nini. But when they went to have a handshake with that perceived Dereva Mulevi, they didn't care about the history. But when they see a certain inclination towards the conductor, they start being agitated. So and, what we are saying and, and that, here is that's that they, we shall not allow them to choose for us friends. You can hear Sifuna passionately arguing about numbers in one Kenya lands and justifying that Kalonzo is better than Mudavadi. So, 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 this Senator, is not your pill to swallow, Sifuna. Mind <laughs> about your Azimio. Senator, Why should you passionately All right, start talking asked. about one Kenya lands and yet you're not a member of one Kenya lands? Please answer my question. Yes. I understand that you have to settle scores, but yeah. answer my question. I'm asking, Deputy President William Ruto cannot be Deputy President again. Yes. Your party leader wants to be President. Yeah. So if he is to work with William Ruto, in what capacity? Uh, first of all, when you do any coalition we have uh, everybody has aspirations the other day we saw Kivuta Kibwana saying he wants to be president Alfred Mutua says he wants to be president Raila Odinga said he wants to be president they are coming together mm -hmm. even on our side Musali Mdavadi wants to be president of Kenya mm -hmm. if he decides and we shall know that on 23rd to work with whoever he wants to work with. And that person also wants to be president. One, we are not just getting into a collision because we want to get into a collision. We must have a collision of ideologies. We are going to launch our manifesto on 23rd. 
we shall look at like-minded parties who manifestos are, are in tandem with our manifesto. That, and that therefore, sound like and an therefore when, when, we, you know, when, when we sit on a negotiating table, right. we shall come with our demands. Of course, we shall be fronting Musali Amdavadi as our preferred presidential candidate. They will come with their person. It is a give and take. I mean, I'm very specific here. Would you want to work with Deputy President William Ruto? He is a Kenyan. Is that a yes or no? And we are ready to work with any Kenyan okay. who is Assuming like that's a yes, yes. Yeah. he cannot be deputy president again. Yes. So is Musala Mudavadi willing to be deputy president under William Ruto? Those are details that will emerge on the negotiating table. Who, who tells you that William Ruto cannot step down in favor of Musalia? Who tells you? It's, it's possible. It is possible. It is possible. And therefore, let us get to that point first. I, I, I Who tells so. you that Raila Odinga <laughs> cannot step down in favor of Musali Mdavadi or Kalonzo Musioka? People do, have stepped down before. Do you, do you think For they him, would? Raila Odinga can say Kalonzo Tosha. And therefore, this is a game of possibilities. Sam, I, I think citizens should introduce a comedy show where uh, Malala can come and tell those jokes. Uh, because no, for I, us, I mean, Senator, I mean, sorry, it's, it's um, a truth. It's um, a truth. S -S it's Senator, you're, you're from your lips to God's ears. <laughs> I wanted to just clarify one thing. You know, if uh, you want to know whether somebody is waiting for you, or uh, you know, if 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 you have you used to have this girl you are chasing in high school, mm -hmm. you want to know if she's waiting for you. Eh? You look at the demeanor of the things that she's doing. If okay. uh, she has already arranged for a, a dowry ceremony with somebody else, and she's doing all sorts of things, preparations to get married, then you know that person has moved on. So mm -hmm. you look at the demeanor of Raila Odinga and ODM. We have already formed a campaign secretariat. We have named the chair of the campaign board. We have the spokesperson of the campaign secretariat. We have rolled out our campaigns. We are dealing about uh, the question of who's going to be our running mate. By the end of February, we should be able to know who's our running mate. Does this tell you that we are here worried about what other people are doing? Sisi tumejipanga, mwishimwa malala. We are not interested in whatever it is you are doing. You have promised us an earthquake. I can guarantee you, I can guarantee Kenyans, that even if there is as much as a tremor in Kenya, you should come and build Sifuna. There is nothing that is going to happen of uh, And I can assure you on Sunday. It is Sunday, just an NDC of uh -huh. a small part. I want, to, I, want to, I want to assure you on Sunday. Yes, Senator. Sifuna is going to skip his church service. He will be glued on the TV waiting for that earthquake. <laughs> Why? I am I'm very sure. Who he waits for been, an earthquake while watching been, TV? He has, he has if, been calling me, me every, he has been calling me every night, uh -huh. asking me what are you going to, no, what no, are you guys no. going to say? Uh, what what, what if, is your if, game plan? If, if now he's putting out, on a brave it, face. If, if, if you are stretched up. out on your sofa watching TV, <laughs> you know there is not going to be an earthquake. <laughs> if I was Senator, worried about an earthquake, I would be outside. You wait for twenty third. Okay, Senator. Musali Amdavadi is going to surprise you guys. You see, the most important thing we should say, and I'll appreciate the Honorable Musali Amdavadi to put in his bid as a presidential candidate, just the way Kalonzo has done. Right. And, and we move on. Yeah, 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 and, and now we come to the field. No, that is what you expect. But you we know. are telling you okay, so uh, And to if calm you are bringing, now, you are bringing you know, order, we, you, know. you already brought it from Mumiasi, you went well to There is no surprise. I hear you. No, 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 I want to remind, I want to remind, I want to remind my colleagues that Raila Odinga said on 9th of December, He's going to make a big announcement. He did. It was a big announcement. It was not a big announcement. It was a big announcement. He vying for president. Vying for you. Wait, just a moment. Vying for president is not a big announcement. It is a big announcement. Because you have vied five times and failed. It is a big announcement. It's not big. It's not big. Even Musali has vied and failed. And now he is going to announce. And therefore, you shouldn't care so much about it. Wait for 23rd for a big announcement from Musali and Javadi. We are praying and failing. We need to make progress. That day will be good. And everything will go as you have planned. Okay. And, and therefore, we why are you so worried? We why we we need to make progress. why are you so worried Senator, about the 23rd? We are Senator, not worried. Nobody Senator. cares. Senator Kilofas Malala. We really don't care. Because he wants to be Senator. I want to be MP. Yeah. Oh. He wants to be President. Why should all I that will I should be, be Senator Malala, we need to make progress. Elachi, all Just that will be determined on 23rd. <laughs> Your aspiration, Sifuna, to be the Senator of Nairobi will be determined by the move Musali Amdavadi oh will make on 23rd. I can send you Senator, listen to this question. Even, because because even, you know. even, and you are going to talk to our people, no Sifuna. Way. Senator, I'm asking you this question. They are our need, people. No, SJ Sifuna. <laughs> Senator, we need to make progress eh, because we are, when you close talk, nobody is able to hear us. But now, you say that uh, your party leader is making moves. I'm just wondering, how far are those conversations between um, your party leader and uh, William Ruto? We are not uh, <laughs> divulging any information as for now. My party leader has been very clear that 
on 23rd, he will speak his mind. Let and us allow him to talk to Kenyans on that day and give direction to this country. And, and that direction, mm -hmm. I can assure you, as he said, is going to be an earth-moving <laughs> has it okay. earth moving? Uh, earth moving. We'll wait. But um, when you say that you don't want to divulge this information, has the party, your party leader informed the core principles of the non Kenya Alliance on what his interests are? Uh, of course, we have representation in the technical committee. Has he spoken to the principles? I wouldn't speak for my party leader for now. Uh, they speak at a different level. But from where I sit, we have the democratic right as a party mm -hmm. to look for friends within One Kenya Alliance and beyond One Kenya Alliance. Okay, all right. I hear you, Senator. I will wait.